will be talking about the environment and the college campus we are studying right now. You know, environment is something which we all have in common, which we all share as one. Irrespective of anything, all the people, all the human beings in the world share it as one. That is the environment, the biodiversity which we have. So, what is this environment? Why is it important? And what have we done to the environment today? You know, all our resources, all the things which help the human life sustain is from the environment. The air we're breathing right now, the food we eat, the building we're standing upon, it is all because we have the environment. The environment is providing us. But what have we done to the environment? What have we done in return for the favors the environment has done free of cost for us? Do you see, like, can you all see the change in the weather conditions? Can you all feel that the weather, the climate is not as it used to be before? Yes or no? Yes? yes? I think this should be a big yes because this is very relevant and prevalent. Is it or not? Yes. The environment which we like, you know, which we see in movies, which we have heard from our grandparents, from our from the books we read in, are we still in that environment today? The environment which our generation is living today has degraded to such an extent that it is not called climate changes or climate problems today. It has become climate crisis today and, it's, and it needs to be interviewed, like it needs to be acted upon as soon as possible because if we do not act now, then when are we going to act? The air we breathe in is polluted. The water which we take, polluted. The soil where the agriculture takes place, polluted. So what is not polluted in the environment today? You know, this morning I was just scrolling through the social media and I, I came across a meme that said our ancestors did not use sunscreens because they had the ozone layer. But what we have today is a hole in the ozone layer. That's why we have to apply sunscreen every time we move out. Is it right or not? Can you all see the dumping ground there? Can you get the smell? Yes. What is that? Pollution. Degradation of the environment. In front of the Nazareth block, there is a small bench made out of cement and plastics. Yes. Has anyone noticed it? Yes. That bench is totally made out of plastics. It is made out of eco bricks that an organization in Siliguri has been working on to reduce the use of one use plastics, to reduce the pollution it creates. This is one alternative solution which we can use as, you know, because we are humans, we cannot resist everything. We cannot, you know, kill our like wants and needs and everything comes in plastic packaging. Most of everything comes in plastic packaging today. And that too, one use plastics. Many plastics, they do not get recycled. And even if you want to recycle it, we don't have proper resources to recycle it. So what we do is put it in the dustbin and the dustbin goes straight into that dumping ground. And what it does, pollute our environment. So until and unless we get the permanent solution to this, and this is the environment. Temperature fluctuations, rising of sea level, etc, etc, visible, visible to everyone every day. For example, today, morning, in the, in the morning time, it was very hot. But soon after, uh, the first period, I think, it started raining heavily. Then again, the scorching heat. What is this? Weather changes. Because of environment degradation. Inside the campus, what we can do as students, what we can do as individuals, not big things, small steps, small initiatives. We are humans, we feel, we feel hunger, we go to the canteen, we eat, but some of us, we tend to leave the wrappers where we eat. Instead, if we start putting all the wrappers inside the dustbin, then there are workers who will put those dustbins and those garbage in the right place. But we are so lazy, like, you know, we always wait for someone else to come and do our work. Because we think that we are not social workers, we are not karmacharis to pick up the waste. Is it right or wrong? That thought has to change. Picking up your own garbage and putting it in the right place is not, you know, going down in your level or, you know, that is something which will increase your willpower. It will increase your confidence because you are doing right. And you know, change always begins from here. I'm telling you the alternative solutions today and everybody has listened, okay? Everybody knows what 
I am talking about. Everybody have it here. And if we put it into action, then the change begins. Until and unless we take it out from here, it's not going to work. And it is not that one individual can bring the whole revolution. If we partner up, if we come together as one and take small initiatives in our daily lives, in our daily schedule, in our daily, whatever we do in our daily lives, that small initiatives joined all together can become a huge revolution. And that is what I'm talking about. Thank you.